ladies and guest referees for this match, one of the outstanding heavyweight fighters of his time, the former world heavyweight boxing champion, the brown brother, Joe Lewis. The final track of the evening, two out of three falls for the 60-minute time limit. Weighing 227 pounds from Buenos Aires, Argentina, Argentina Rocker. His opponent weighing 245 pounds, and Smith. Evening, everyone. Russ Davis, Ringside International Amphitheater in Chicago. We have as referee here tonight, Joe Lewis. This is the first time that Joe has ever been in the ring at International Amphitheater. This is a match between Argentine Rocca on the left and old Meanie from Munich, Hans Schmidt. Joe Lewis looking him over here. Schmidt came out about to what he figured was his portion of the center of the ring and stood there. Made both Lewis and Rocca come to him. Lewis asking about his fingernails and piece of tape on his wrist. Doesn't like the looks of it, but uh, well, this is wrestling, Joe. Don't worry too much about it. Hans doesn't want to stand out here and have a board of directors meeting, and Rocca wants one. Rocca wants the tape off of there, as a matter of fact. Joe says, well, now let's think this thing over. Okay, fellas. Just as long as you don't pull it across his eyes, says Lewis. No more than I would use my fist would I use my tape, says Hans. <laughs> well, one thing's for sure, with these two wrestling, there'll be no hair pulling. Not with these crew cuts. Lewis is explaining to Schmidt when he steps outside the rope, the count automatically begins. Rocco wants to shake hands, no dice. Well, here we go. This is the boy you wanted to see wrestle Hunt Schmidt for a long time. Finally, we got a man. There's the bell, and we're off and running. Best two out of three falls, 60 minute time limit. Contact. Lying there. Rucker, you know, wrestles barefooted. Onto the rope. Joe Lewis making him break it up. Hey, now Hans, let's break this thing up fair, he says. Doesn't make too much difference for Rocca. Continually on the go. Mr. Schmidt. Hey. there. That one jarred him down to the Wiener Schnitzel. Wrist lock extended into a corner with Rocca. Schmidt was ducking down to avoid an elbow there then. Had he been in this situation, that's where he would have gotten out of it. And our boy kick him on his big old cauliflower. Oh, says Lewis, well, you don't bust her. the heel of his foot. Well, that's a new rule, maybe, but it works. See Schmidt choking here? It's the advantage of watching these things by movies. There's a side mare. We, a 
just dropped the pocketbook. Well, there's a headlock in the side there. He made it work. Rocker right back on his feet. Waist lock. Go, go ahead, Rocker. It's a waist lock. It's a bad one if the man's got a strength to put it on you. Hey, Joe, you're getting ball on top. Look at that. Maybe it's more golf cap. Lewis would not let Rocky use that cross chin lock because it was too low. Look at him come out of that thing. He's possessed of tremendous strength, this boy Rocket. This is what Schmidt probably will not like. Nor that. Hey, Rocka, look out. No hitting with a closed foot now. So that, you know, in professional wrestling, this is not barred. Yeah, it's an open foot, Rocka. We know that. That. He walked right into a flying toll. Here's one reverse now with a back stretch trying to get started. Schmidt has got tape all over this left arm of his. Look at it, his finger and his wrist. They're right up over me here. Close enough that I don't want any part of them, I'll tell you that. Schmidt hitting these terrific broad arm licks of his across the back. It hurt. Well, there's one for your back, amigo. Headlock on Rocca. Schmidt tried to get a handful of air, had no luck. That's what all the yells from the crowd was about. Reverse chin lock posted. Body press into an arm bar, a wrist lock single. Hey, these guys are wrestling. Better look out there, Uncle Joe. These guys may land on you. You're just used to getting hit with a guy's fist. Welcome made a takeaway there. Let's see if he can keep it. Seems like he will. Don't hit him with your fist, says Joe. I have to break it up, Schmidt's out from under the ropes over there. This is a telephoto shot, and this ring looks about three feet wide, but it's really wired to an ironing board, believe it. 22 feet across, as a matter of fact. Oh, quit complaining. The worst than a Philadelphia lawyer. tried that as a body slam, but it didn't work out, but he's doing the damage here now. Watch your fist, Lewis tells him. 
a legal maneuver here, Joe. As long as he doesn't choke when he throws it. Oh, well, that's good enough for Schmidt. Oh, there's one for him. Hooray for our side. Knee lift. Lewis doesn't like him fighting in that corner. He wants him out of there. He never liked the corner himself when he was boxing, as a matter of fact. Well, Schmidt finally came up with a body press out of all that maneuvering. There's a real good choke hold with one hand while he hits with the other one. Joe, you're going to have to get in there now, boy. Mr. Rocco is halfway into Laughing Street there. I dare say that Rocco knows he's got a hold of a tough monkey in this guy, Schmidt. Lewis is starting to count on Schmidt when he starts these tactics. There's one in trouble with him. Joe's the most peaceful guy in the world. Gonna start counting again, Hunch. One, two. One, two, three. Oh, this is rough. Boy, he's soaked up a lot of punishment here. Flying there. Another one. Knee lift. Focus. Uh, no, now, wait a minute, Mr. Schmidt. Here's a boy who'll mix it with you. You get hit right in the Zaubraten. Well, he got a drop kick there anyway. <laughs> Diverting movement, I guess maybe you'd call it. Well, he can't seem to get himself collected here from the way Rock is putting drop kicks on him. Well, well, here goes this great big South American swing. This is a backbreaker with a spin added. Schmidt has given it to Rocca. Conceded it. Oh, how it kills our hunchy boy to lose the ball. You'd think you'd just lost the world. Eddie Flick make it official. Attention, please. The time, 15 minutes and 42 seconds for the backstretch to win of the first ball, Argentina Rocca. So there you've got it, dear friends. The first ball goes to Argentine Rocco with his South American backstretch. Schmidt, the old meanie from Munich there, you know, came into this country and started wrestling quite an unknown a relatively short time ago. He's endowed with one quality. He wants to win. How, he doesn't particularly care. He's one of the few men in the wrestling business that I know of, personally, that other wrestlers will not even speak to. Oh, that's a cute trick. Some kid walked up there and offered Hans a program to sign. He's a real big guy. Picks it up and tears it up. I bet you 450 breaks wings off of butterflies. This is only the first call of a proposed three, so don't go wait. We'll be back in just a few seconds. Four little Easter bunnies around, as I was saying a few seconds ago. This is, now lay off of Mr. Lewis, Hans. And Rocca, you get in your cage, too. That's only the 10 second whistle. Hey, fellas, the bell ain't went. Break it up, Joe. Well, there goes the bell now. Well, I guess it's all legal. <laughs> so what? They can't do much more than break each other's necks.
Rocco's trying here for a quick second fall, holding the first one. There's a cute little chokehold, knee lift. I guess the way they judged that was that Rocco's tongue was hanging out like an anteater's. There's a knee lift into the pit of the stomach. Flying there. And it hands held on to it. It's a chin press that he has, it's not a choke. Pitch him like a turtleneck sweater. Smith trying to uh, get himself in the way here. Ooh, there's a good solid flip to the tummy. Hey, Hans, you'll take a little bit. Keep that up. Put your elbow in the solar plexus. Oh, and use your fist. Lewis caught you then, boy. Break it up, says Joe Lewis. You're on the ropes. No, not his jaw, the whole time. these drop kicks again. Better get going, Hans. This boy's murder with these things. And Smith's going to squeal out or out Smith of He's going to get out of there. I believe that I'm using my head. something horrible out of this. It is. Reversed and doubled. With his knee in Mr. Rucka's lumbar region. Pass around the arnica, mother. We'll all need it. It's a legal maneuver. Everybody's getting excited about this, but as long as it isn't the point of his knee, he's Sean Lewis. He's very accommodating. Rock is out. It'll have to be broken up. Oh, 
Rocco with that famous falling head scissors of his. One, two, nope, not quite. Just took the press away from him. You'll have to get up to get your knee out of his ear, huh? You'd make a customer for Gene McDonald out of him. This is a reverse chin set with a bit of choking at it, a la Schmidt. Nine, 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 he walks around with a ring and says. The translation, believe me, old boy, I most certainly did not do it. Boy, this Schmidt's a great one for breaking a guy down in the back. Fixes an opponent up. More of the same. Lou says, I'm going to tell you one more time, boy. Then I'm going to let you have it. Hmm, the backbreaker. Thompson's long suit of jello, you know. There's another one. It just seems to be taking sadistic delight in using a lot of these tonight. Body press. One, two, three. And the second fall goes to Hunt Schmidt. Thusly, the match is tied up between he and Argentine Rocca. We'll get it all made official pretty soon. Joe seeing him into his corner. And talk to him a little bit too. You gotta cut out this business. The time is six minutes and thirty-six seconds with a series of backbreakers and a body press. The winner of the second fall. And Smith, the winner. Little old boy, Eddie couldn't even hang on to his microphone there to get it done. Mr. Lewis likes it, Hans, but not on the outside of the ring. Doesn't mind you slamming an opponent up in there, but uh, to cuff him around after you got him out on the edge of the ring's a little too much. Boy, everybody's giving Schmidt what for here. I think everyone's living for the day that he gets beaten conclusively in two quick falls. He hasn't been beaten, you know, since he started wrestling. He's had a lot of draws. We've had a lot of matches that wound up out on the floor in Donnie Brooks and Pier 7. But actually, Schmidt has never been pinned. Two out of three falls in the center of the ring yet. Lufez, both of the times that he has won over him, has won over him on disqualifications, on Schmidt being out of the ring. Oh, there just, it seems like almost no end to the things that can happen that stand as good luck for this guy Schmidt when it comes to actually having not been pinned two out of three falls. He's been beaten on a lot of other counts, but uh, never on that account by anybody, up to and including Lufez, if my memory serves me right. I may stand for a nickel for the correction from some of you real died in the old wrestling fans. Well, there's a 10-second whistle. You know, 60 minutes in a wrestling match is everything. Time out between falls and the time wrestled. Yep. There the bell went, and we're off and running again. Schmidt right back at the same old stand of doing business. Trying to wreck this boy's back. Oh, well, looky here. One, two... Three, by jingles, this happened. Rocka beat him. Ha <laughs> ha ha! La di da. It was a fluke. 
really was. Lewis went into the corner to try and break up this business that Hunt had initiated. He tried to push his way out of the corner. And in so doing, he pushed him away from him. Now look out, Mr. Schmidt. Mr. Lewis won't back. Come on, come on in, says Joe. I'll give you one for. <laughs>